everyone. Uh, sorry for that delay. Um, please join me in welcoming Dmitry Dementiev from Geopard. He will be discussing data-driven precision agriculture practices uh, using the Geopard platform. Uh, Dmitry, I'll let you go. Thank you very much. It's a pleasure to be here and make my presentation. So, uh, fundamentals of precision agriculture, and I'm pretty sure that all of you are aware of this, that there are spots on the field which uh, with high yield productivity, low yield productivity, and uh, where job part uh, help to implement precision ag practices and variable rate technology on fields at scale, to which in the end uh, helps you to increase your ROI and uh, usage of data driven data driven agriculture. Uh, question is how to create maps for different operations and which data layers to use it is quite challenging and an interesting task and we really analyze them all and understand understand the, a lot about uh, dependence and correlations between different data layer layers and uh, really there's no uh, simple answer to this question but we, we can help you with that our approach in job part that we aggregate all the possible remote sensing data, data from scanners, data from machinery, uh, topography data. We apply our artificial intelligence, machine learning models, and also we create an engine which allows you to adjust these models using your own agronomic logic you, uh, because your knowledge of your soils uh, is uh, something that we cannot automate right now for all the fields. And uh, uh, therefore, we provide and then decision support tool, which really helps you to manage manage your field. And uh, in your part, we really created such a tool that allows you to make decisions uh, through the whole agricultural season, starting from the planning, soil sampling, fertilizing, seeding, uh, crop protection, application of uh, desiccators then planning of har harvesting and after your yes, season post-harvest analysis to understand what was what went wrong, what uh, worked well, etc. In details, how it works, that uh, our platform aggregates satellite data from uh, various sources. For example, imagery we aggregate from Landsat, uh, Sentinel, Planet, uh, Sentinel, we work also with radar data, which allows us to look through the clouds. With machinery data, we work with as applied as planted data, data sets, uh, with yield data. If you have additional sensors, like for example, grain moisture sensor or protein sensors, we also uh, support this and you can analyze and have all the data in one place in job part, visualize it, analyze it, clean, etc. Regarding Soil scanners, which is a very modern and interesting topic. We work with a few companies like uh, Soil Optics, uh, Geoprospectors, Top Soil Mapper, FarmView, and others. And we provide a tool which allows you to analyze their data in cloud, create prescriptions, or do other type of analysis. Also, we help uh, you to create uh, prescriptions uh, based on uh, agrochemical soil analysis of data, which could be uploaded in the system and uh, prescriptions could be created. Topography data, which we aggregate from various data sources. For example, if LIDAR data is available for your region, we work with LIDAR. Unfortunately, currently for most of Canada, LIDAR is not publicly available, but as soon as it, it will be available, we will be the first platform uh, where you, you can really analyze uh, LiDAR data, high resolution, usually it's five or, or three meters resolution. Um, also regarding topography, when you upload into Geopart yield or data from soil scanners, and quite often there's elevation attribute, and if there's an elevation, then we build a detailed topography using your machinery data. And uh, results, from Geopart platform depends really on your business needs. 
we create uh, variable rate prescription maps, we create automated alerts for scouters, create uh, tasks automatically, benchmarking reports regarding your field heterogeneity, variability, uh, per performance. Uh, we can help you to define the uh, yield limiting factors all in one software. You don't need any other third party software or and quite often you don't need even uh, be a deep professional in geospatial data because uh, all the user interface is very simple. And uh, our software is used via API by some companies and also we help to introduce sustainable practices. Uh, we have quite knowledgeable team. We work in this industry for many years. Previously it was Zoner software. Power, it was known as Power Zones in Canada. Then we built Xarvio. In Xarvio we built most of uh, the spatial engine, uh, infrastructure and core of the analytics of the system. And starting from 2019, uh, we built we have been building Geopart and provides analytics to various types of agribusinesses. Among our clients, there are different type of companies. In Canada, we work a lot with uh, uh, agronomists or independent ag consultants, also work uh, with ag input companies. It means that we provide analytics to them. We're not, uh, let's say, linked to them directly, but uh, they use our analytics in their own software. Uh, also work with independent research organizations, for example, I also have been association, use our software and, and others. Uh, some use cases about how Geopart could be used on for your clients or on your farms. Uh, quite practical example that uh, application of nitrogen uh, very important in this case, uh, EC and uh, soil moisture they, uh, soil moisture parameters were were scanned using uh, soil scanner. Data was sent to Geopart, and Geopart automatically read prescription maps for for nitrogen application. And as I said previously, work with uh, guys like Soil Optics, which have booths here, our friends. Variable rate seeding, very interesting topic, and there are various approaches how how to create variable rate application maps. And uh, one of the approaches is to use multi-layer analysis. It means that you try to figure out which data layers are most important for concrete fields. Uh, choose, select these data layers, and analyze them. And it helps you to create some kind of digital twin of your field, which really reflects all the possible data layers. And in this case, um, it, it is in, in hectares, it was uh, like variable rate, a corn application and uh, savings on seeds were about 20%. Another example is fungicide application on off. This field is located in Alberta that you do not apply. so. You, you can choose based on which data layers you want to create uh, fungicide application maps, uh, but uh, quite a popular approach that you just take the latest available satellite images, Im imagery cloud free, or sometimes you mix it with bare soil analysis. Um, another use case that we help to automate scouting tasks that you really uh, need to go to fields uh, much rare uh, with Geopart because we track vegetation changes and uh, the logic is quite flexible that you can create your own rules how you want us to create tasks. Also in Geopart, since we store, understand and analyze a lot of different data layers, we really help you to understand uh, yield limiting factors for your field, and you can do it directly in the software. In this, in this case, uh, here's an example that uh, here's an inter intersection of high yield, low, low EC, uh, EC data. Also, you can see that in some cases, topography is very important, and if you have LiDAR data, then 
quite often there is correlation between your top topography and uh, your field potential. Another interesting thing that we're, we're developing a lot of uh, quite unique and interesting models. And one of our latest development is Geopark field potential map. Here you can see real examples. This field is located in Canada. How we create a map which predicted distribution of yield and uh, correlation is very, very, very high. And uh, you can see visually that we uh, used all, almost everything, all the, all the details. And uh, uh, this was enabled by, since we analyzed millions of acres, understand uh, all the factors, all the layers, which are really important for the fields. And uh, we're now ready to create our own, uh, our own indices, which, are, which perfectly ref reflect the fields. And uh, this, what I've shown, we tried uh, many different approach, how, uh, which indices are better to use, which layers are better to use. And we have a tool which automatically create field potential maps and calculates heterogeneity of fields. It means that uh, if your client uh, possesses a lot of fields that you can uh, sort them by heterogeneity and prioritize uh, fields uh, where you want to implement precision arc practices first. Dark lens application, you can create prescription maps. It is compatible with most of modern machinery. Uh, we support either buses, XML, shape files. Uh, we have uh, seamless bidirectional integration with MyGen0 operation center. It means that data could be imported from MyGen0 into Geopart, field boundaries uh, as applied yield data, uh, all possible, all, all available data source. It could be analyzed in Geopart. Uh, prescription could be sent back in Geopart, and also we create map layers in MyGen0. It means that, uh, for example, you can watch in MyGen0 uh, operation center lidar topography created by Geopart. Uh, we work with Planet, and uh, guys uh, had presentation, great presentation here about uh, nested of the data for agriculture analysis. And they really have a great uh, data sources. We, for some of our clients, uh, uh, analyze planet data and create prescription maps manually. You can create them manually, or you can create rules that prescriptions are created based on planet data automatically. We do cloud detection, data normalization cleaning. Since you have a little bit different sensors on. Landsat Sentinel planet, you need really to, to work with data. And we do all this job uh, for you. And uh, here's an example of uh, same, same day, same uh, image. Of, uh, on the left side, uh, it is Sentinel. On the right side, it is planet. And you can see that uh, it provides more, more details. Another question, if, if you need for every operation modules, but it's uh, another discussion. Also in Geopart, Dark Lens a browser, you can create or platform creates on behalf of you, uh, 3D maps. You can really rotate, zoom in, zoom out, exaggerate uh, your topography. And also instead of topography, you can choose any other data layer. For example, if you have a detailed uh, PI, pH map or organic matter map, then you can uh, switch topography and organic matter and see really high lows of your organic matter and overlay, for example, yield data on top of it. It's really great tool for research purpose, purposes and helps to understand your fields in, in details. Chapart is available um, as a web application, simple software as a service. You have login, logout with same login, logout you can use our mobile applications. We have native applications for iOS, Android. Uh, also, it can be used on tablets. It work, uh, our mobile application works offline. Uh, there are also there are modules for soil sampling, planning, execution of soil sampling. 
Uh, also, you can make scouting notes and it wor all works offline, totally offline. And you, data is sent uh, back to our servers only when you have internet connection. Uh, we have API, we have totally transparent solution in terms of experts that you can export everything from Geopart. For example, you can export even raw satellite data. Uh, you can export your field boundaries, uh, zones, prescriptions in any format. We don't restrict to you at all, and we don't try to, to, to catch you in, in the system. Uh, also, for some companies, usually bigger group businesses, we provide white label solutions. Uh, if it is important for your business to show your own brand to, to your client, then you can discuss it with us as well. We have quite a unique uh, business model that we don't charge per acre per model, um, which becomes very costly. Since we understand that uh, agronomists have uh, different clients and uh, one of the clients want, for example, satellite monitoring, another client want only to analyze yield data, third client only want to create prescriptions based on soil sampling data. So we created a system where we charge only for used features for used analysis. And it really allows our clients uh, to spend much less than they usually spend uh, uh, on uh, for, for software from competitors. In this example, you can see that you can analyze up to uh, 100,000 acres only for 7K per year. We provide, we launched it last year, uh, this year, uh, a community partner program, which allows you to earn uh, using your network with us. It means that if you recommend to any of your friend or your client job part, uh, so we have a revenue share model where you can earn together with us and you're welcome to apply, apply to this and work with us. Thank you very much. It was uh, my presentation. I tried to make it relatively short. If you have any questions, uh, please ask me. You can send me email or we have a booth here. Uh, you can type your questions there. Thank you very much. Thank you, Dimitri. No, it does not look like anyone has any questions, but uh, as Dimitri said, you can contact him via email if you have questions or a direct chat in Feedloop or you can drop by the uh, exhibit hall and chat with them in their booth. So thank you very much, Dimitri. Uh, that was fantastic. Thank you very much. The pleasure was mine. Thank you. Have a great day. Bye -bye. All right. Take care.